that feels so good, I'm so needy. I think every woman would do that. Like if you could walk in a room and just be like, oh my God, Karen's here. Oh my God. You guys look nice, I'm so excited to be here. I'm a native New Yorker, I know some of you are visiting. Uh, thank you, thank you. I am um, born and raised in the Bronx, New York, which is, uh, oh, you've heard of it. For those of you who haven't been, uh, you should go visit. Um, <laughs> I didn't say stay, I said visit. Go get off the train, look around, and then immediately get back on the train. I'm kidding. <laughs> Ladies, if you want to boost your self-esteem, please go to the Bronx. <laughs> yes, they <laughs> love anything. I'm serious, they love anything even remotely female if you go over there. Yeah, you could put a dress on a mop and they'd be like, who's the girl with the dreadlocks? <laughs> Damn, girl, you skinny but you cute. What your name is? <laughs> Ooh, girl, you smell like ammonia. <laughs> She'd be like, that is my name, Ammonia. Oh, some of you have been to the ghetto. <laughs> Every girl I grew up with, and I grew up in the South Bronx, a very Latino neighborhood. I am, I am Latina and Puerto Rican, by the way. Um, <laughs> thank you. I know it's hard to tell because I'm not wearing a flag or a baby, but I am in fact. <laughs> you guys are racist for laughing, but that's okay. It's fine. We were all on the same page on that one. <laughs> Every girl that I grew up with had that very stereotypical Rosie Perez, like Bronx, Puerto Rican girl. Every guy, I swear, that just had that really thing, like, shut up, stupid, you're so stupid, stupid. <laughs> that is how every girl I grew up with talked. I can't imagine. I used to be so jealous of those girls because I never had that voice and every guy thought it was sexy. They thought it was sexy for a girl to talk like that. But then I realized, if you talk like that your whole life, <laughs> There's gonna be a point when you gotta get a grown person job. <laughs> and that is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> right? Because what if you walked into a courtroom and your lawyer was like, but he didn't did it, your honor. <laughs> no, cause you're looking at him like he's guilty when I told you he didn't did it. Did I win yet? I won yet? I won? No, you gotta pacifically tell me. Oh, thank you for getting that last part. Cause I've done that bit in the Bronx. Yeah, and I've had girls go, I don't know what she pacifically meant by that last one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask her later. You guys are smart. My boyfriend is also Latino. My boyfriend is Mexican. And, um, hmm, thank you. I love Mexican dudes. I do. I love Mexican. Yeah, I love Mexican dudes. I do. I love them. I knew I was gonna end up with a Mexican guy because I love tacos. So, that was gonna happen. And I remember when I met him, I thought he was like the tallest Mexican guy I'd ever met in my life. Cause he's six foot one, which is a little ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, you thought I was racist for like a second. <laughs> and then you were like, no, she's right, that's tall, that's tall. <laughs> six one, cause you know over here, they're like travel size. I don't know if you know, like, I'm tiny. Six foot one. When I first met him, I was like, are you made up of several smaller Mexicans? <laughs> Like one of those Russian dolls, like Jorge Jesus Gustavo. You guys are adorable. We've um, <laughs> we've been together a while now. We actually, we've actually been together a couple of years, and um, we are we're trying to have a baby. Um, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna tell him real soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not gonna tell him. I don't. It's gonna stay a surprise. I'm not that crazy chick. 
I am crazy, but I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I love it when my guy friends are all like, I just want to find a chick that's not crazy. I'm always like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> Oh, let me know when you find that and a unicorn. Where are you? I don't know where you are. I don't know where that happens. Because we're all crazy. Right? And the, the craziest women are the women that hear me say that and they sit out there like, not me. She's not talking about me. I'm perfectly normal. Just own your crazy. It's fine, ladies. We got to give the guys a break. I feel bad for you. You're always trying to figure us out. It's never going to happen. You have to know that it's not gonna happen. We think on completely different levels. That's why you'll never get, one thing you have to understand about your woman is our brains, 24 hours. Right? Every woman in here knows what I'm talking about and every guy in here is like, that's physically impossible. <laughs> Let me explain how it works. Our brains work 24 hours because you guys are probably thinking we have to sleep at some point. No. We're perfectly fine watching you guys sleep. And every woman's done it. Every woman's watched her husband or boyfriend sleep and it is just as creepy as it sounds. <laughs> but here's what happens. It's amazing to us because you guys fall asleep. You're like, I'm tired. <sighs> what? <laughs> Was this dude just hit with a tranquilizer dart? What just happened? <laughs> For us, here's what happens, right, ladies? It doesn't happen that way. We try to fall asleep. You put in your best effort, right? But the second your eyes start to close... The second they start to close, your brain is like, um, there's just this one thing. <laughs> if you could just wake up for a second. And it's never one thing. It's a series of pointless thoughts, <laughs> right? It starts off as something so tiny. You're like, well, maybe I'll wear that blue outfit tomorrow, but not the blue one, because I kind of look fat in that, but not too fat, because last time I wore it, Kathy said I look nice, and she's never nice to me. I don't even know if we're really friends, because I don't really trust her, but I don't have a lot of female friends, and I don't want to be that chick. And then we just keep going and going and going and going. <laughs> right? Until at some point we black out from boredom. And that's how we fall asleep. Our bodies literally go, please shut her up for the love of God. <laughs> and I'll leave you guys with this. For the simple fact that you, you will never be able to figure out what's wrong with your woman, don't ask her that question. Don't be like, what's wrong, babe? We don't know yet. <laughs> don't ask that. And don't throw out what it could be. Like, don't be like, is it that thing I said about your mom? <laughs> now it is. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Good night.